everybody, this is Elissa from Mangarts and Crafts, and today we are going to take a look at this finish and do a little bit of a post review. I don't do a lot of post reviews of Diamond Art Club canvases unless I bling it up. And that's more so to show you guys, not so much like the canvas, because we all know kind of how Diamond Art Club canvases turn out. Uh, they usually look absolutely fantastic, but I like to kind of show off what you can do when you bling up a kit on your own uh, and how it can turn out when it, what it can look like when you do those blings. So this is Happy Jack's Glitter Moon. And I just finally finished this kit. Oh my goodness. This, this was like, I've been, I waited. I missed this on the restock like four times and finally, or on like three restocks and finally snagged it on the fourth restock. So I was super ecstatic to finally get this canvas. This is Happy Jack's Glitter Moon by the artist Aaron Bartlett. It is a 50.7 by 68.9 round drill canvas. And it came with 38 colors, which included three ABs. You look at this and your first thing you say, oh yeah, that's an awful lot of black. That's an awful lot of 310. But there is a heck of a lot of confetti in this kit. And I think it was like I struggled because of how much confetti there was. If it had just been the 310, oh, there's some dirtiness on the back of it because I lay it on the floor to take my photos. Um, there, That was the thing that killed me the most on this uh, was the 310 and I was just kind of in a little bit of a funk or not the 310. I did fine with the 310. It was the confetti of the, like the magic swooshes that killed me on this. I mean look how stunning this looks. I was so happy to finally get to work on it and I loved working on it at, for the most part. I loved every part of it except for the confetti swooshes because those were just like the bane of my existence because you guys know I do not enjoy confetti. So that was a pain in the butt for me to do personally. I was like, I need to uh, channel my inner uh, Natalie um, and like my inner, uh, you know, Charmaine because they love their confetti whereas I cannot stand my confetti. Uh, I love my color blocking. Like I was in my happy place doing all this 310. I was in my happy place working on the pumpkins. Like I did was fine on the confetti, the pumpkins and I was right in here and I was fine on the 310 background. But as soon as it came to like these confetti swishes, it was just oh so slow. And the first half wasn't nearly as bad. This part, it was like not too bad. It was when I got over here to this last half because I work from here and then up here. So section one, section two, section three, four, five, six, because I only divided this into six sections. So normally like a canvas like this, if I was working on it during the work week, would have taken me six working days to do. If I was doing it in the weekend, I could have complete two sections on a Saturday or a Sunday. So realistically, this should only have taken me potentially like like four like five to six days depending on if I was doing work days or weekend days to complete but I compl started this on September 10th and finished it on September 29th so it took me a lot longer to do than I was expecting but when you look at the actual um hours that it took it was really not bad it only took me 17 hours and 28 minutes to finish this kit which is like pretty fast because of the color blocking. Uh, I averaged about, let's see what, uh, three to three and a half hours for each section, depending on the section. Sometimes, some, well actually a little bit, two and a half to three hours per section. So there's six sections. So it was about two and a half hours to two and a half to three hours per section. Some went a little bit faster than others. So with this kit, uh, I'm going to go over a little bit of the, um, the, additions in the changes that I made to it so you guys can see because it was so much fun to kind of add some bling to it basically the way I add bling I've put out some videos that show my process before so essentially what I do I like to kit up the canvas first because I like to actually see the drills and look at the canvas and then the drills at the same time to see what it'll look like first off this is what the completed um let me pull up the overhead this is what the drills are going to look like completed you can see the 310 filled all three of these containers and i have about uh about let's see it goes to when it's vertical it goes to like that much 310 left in the container so there's still plenty left in there there were a couple of colors that i felt like i was running low on um it was mostly like the v's I felt like I didn't have very many of this V left, but I never came close to running out. This one was the one that I think I had the least amount in. And then uh, like this L, or well, it's not really an L, it's a weird uh, symbol, but the, it looks like an L to me, so I put, used it as an L. That one I came really close to running out on. 
and there weren't too many others those were the ones that were the lowest amount um but everything else i had plenty of um so we're gonna kind of look at the colors that i did blinging up wise i'm gonna put it right there so i added nine additions to this uh, i was being really lazy when i kitted this up and i didn't bother laboring labeling the special drills so i just basically was like meh close enough um i basically pulled out what i wanted special drill wise and was like we're not even gonna bother labeling these we're just going to put them with where they go and call it a day uh so i added nine additions to this special drill wise that i had from various companies so the uh first off i added this beautiful beautiful uh for the, to replace the 317 this gray ended up being a little bit of a lighter uh gray uh and the grays were all down into this pumpkin so it was a little bit lighter than it should have been um so this was a 317 gray i replaced it with a 318 ab so it ended up being a little bit lighter but i was happy with that so i ended up doing this 318 ab and that's what you see this light color here so it's a little bit lighter but when you step back and look at it from a distance it looks completely fine so that was the 318 AB. I'm gonna pull this out because I'm actually gonna force myself to kit this down. Um, so I'm gonna put the specials where they actually go. Um, and then the 318, because there was an actual 318 in this kit, um, which was supposed to be throughout there, I actually replaced with a pixie dust um, or fairy dust. Uh, and that one is this, I used a uh, lighter, I actually used a 318 uh, pixie dust on this one and that is actually interspersed right here it's very subtle but it's actually alongside there's the ab right here and then there's the pixie dust right there so it's side by side um so that one i uh was didn't have to use very much of uh you can see how little i filled used this container uh, to fill it from there um so that was the pixie dust 318 that's kind of like a little accent here so this ab tended ended up being a lot lighter overall um and then as we come down to replace 37.99 i actually had a pixie dust 37.99 that i replaced it with and i used a lot of the pixie dust 37.99 um, so there's actually two shades of pixie dust in here that you can't really tell. There's a lighter one and a darker one. Uh, we should probably bring it down so you guys can see a little bit closer. Uh, da, 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 da. you can, it's really subtle to see. And let me turn off this overhead so it doesn't give us this glare. So you can see the difference and you can see these tones. So here is our, uh, so here you can see that's our pixie dust. 318 there's our AB 318 and then coming right here there's two shades of pixie dust right here there's a darker pixie dust and a lighter pixie dust um, and between those two pixie dusts let me bring it up and then I'll zoom in so there's a lighter and a darker pixie dust the darker pixie dust that you see right here is this 3799 pixie dust which I used a lot of because that was one of the primary colors so that one uh, was a significant portion of this kit was this 37.9 pixie dust right here um, for this gray pumpkin down here so that filled in quite a bit and then i also used a pixie dust um, 413 to replace 413 because i had the same color so it made it a little bit of a lighter gray because the pixie dust is a little bit lighter than the actual color and that's this lighter gray that you see interspersed it's a really subtle difference between the 413 and the 3799 it's very subtle you can see it comes through better in person than it does on camera but they when they're side by side and you actually look at them there is a difference so you can see how that drill is a different shade than that drill right next to it subtle but it is an actual difference let me see if i turn it back on yeah you can't really tell very well on the camera but it is something that you can see in person so we're going to go ahead and bring this back up zoom you guys back out sorry about that so you guys can see back to our um what i'm talking about with my drill thingamadoohickeys as we go through this boop boop 
as I reposition everything back to how it was. Sorry about that. Uh, and then we got into our some of our um, oranges. So up into this orange pumpkin, I did a lot of replacements in the orange pumpkin because that also added a lot of bling into the, the swoosh and into the face of both pumpkins. Uh, so it added to, uh, yeah, it added to both pumpkin faces. We're going to bring this over, sorry. Uh, so it added uh, a little bit on both pumpkin faces, which I was happy about. Uh, had a lot of specials added into the mouth and the eyes, nose, mouth, eyes, nose, mouth, eyes, nose. Uh, and that was, I'll show you the drills that I added. And then we will go ahead and uh, turn the light off so we can get a closer look without the glare. So to replace 947, I actually had a 947 uh, pixie dust. So I used the 947 pixie dust to replace that. And I poured some in this container and you can see however much I poured in here, I used most of what I poured in this container, but not in the entire bag. So I still have a good chunk of this bag, but I did use a good portion of what I had because that's throughout a lot of this kit. Cause you have some of it mouth a lot in this pumpkin here, um, because that's gonna be our darkest orange that we have all around the darkest uh, pixie dust, which is all right through here of this darker orange color. So most of this pumpkin itself, very little of this pumpkin is not a special drill. And it added a really good glimmer to all of our magic swirls. So they really kind of gave a shimmer. Uh, and then we have 742, uh, which the 742, um, I actually found that the closest color match to a 742 was actually, uh, I just ended up replacing it, even though it wasn't quite the same exact color, I replaced it with a Pixie Dust 742 as well. Uh, so that one ended up being throughout, like that was like our next uh, lighter, that was this lighter color that you see, this lightest tone in the mouth, the lightest tone in the center accenting, this pumpkin lighter tone in the mouth. So that was kind of these light accents, right? along in this portion of our pumpkin. That's that 742. Um, and then as we come down, I had a 741, which I actually used as a 741 AB. So this one I replaced with an AB. So 741 ended up becoming a 741 AB. And our AB, this one is one that I actually got from uh, Swartz Designs um, by Abigail Marie. This is one that she included in one of her kits. So this was just extra ABs that I had saved from a kit. So you can see I used most of the extra ABs that I had from that kit, but it totally was perfect amount because that added the ABs that I needed in the bling of the the money or the, the magic swooshes, the bling uh, of the AB outlining some of the mouth, a little accent in the eyes, a little bit in the mouth, a little bit in the mouth, a little bit in the eyes, a little bit in the eyes. And then you get the AB all along kind of the shimmer that we need in this little pumpkin um, kind of in this like sunlight catch, the sun catch on this half of our pumpkin here, which I'll show you with the light off in a moment when you can actually see it better. But I want to do that once I finish showing the specials because they don't come through well on my light without having this light up here. Uh, and then the second to last color, I had the 740, which I did use a Pixie Dust 740, which again, the color tone is not the exact same, but I'm like, I'm doing a one for one swap, so it doesn't have to be exact. So the 740 was Pixie Dust 740. This orangey tone um, is the uh, is going to be this middle orange right here that we see throughout our pumpkin. So that's the middle orange of that's right in here. So we already looked at our dark orange and our lightest orange, and now we have this middle orange, which was actually a big chunk because that middle orange is the lighter tone here and the lighter tone right here. And then it's this big round amount of it all throughout in this middle portion. And then of course it's in the mouth and it's in the eyes everywhere else. And then the last tone that we had was the 666, which is more of a red. And that one I did have a, I actually had two bottles. So I had, uh, I actually had to break into both of them because there's a lot of the red uh, in the background. There's a lot of red in the background confetti wise and then it's in the around the mouth of uh, both pumpkins have a little bit of the red in the mouth the top pumpkin is mostly 666 around the mouth and the eyes 
there's a ton, almost the entirety of this pumpkin is 666 in anything that is not this dark line right here. Um, but a big portion of this red that you're seeing is the 666. So I had from the Christmas advent calendar box, I had a jar of um, fairy dust from Diamond Art Club. So I used this entire jar of 666 from a Diamond Art Club. And then I had to break into just a tiny bit to finish the last little bit of the section up here in the confetti of 666 for pixie dust uh, from, uh, from DP with sparklers. So I'm glad I had this second container because I need, did need to use it. Uh, I poured just a little bit out, so I needed probably maybe 20 or 30 drills out of that container to finish out that. And that's the specials that I had. Uh, so you can see the holes of where I had them. So it, like, it definitely was necessary, I felt, to be able to bling it up. So now we're gonna go ahead and move the drill container out of the way, turn this light off, and give you guys a close-up so you can see a little bit of what the bling looks like. It did make this pumpkin overall a little bit brighter, which from this close up looks a little, can look a little bit odd because now we have this really dark brown and black here, but I love the look at, of it. And realistically, there is a stark difference when you're looking at the pumpkin like this. I'll have to see, where is my, I'll have to see where I put my original art. Did I already add it to my logbook? I think I may have added it to my logbook, but I haven't filled out my logbook yet. I'm slacking on that front. I'll fill out my logbook soon. Uh, where is it? Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Where is? I haven't filled out my logbook. Okay. So when we look at it, let me turn the light on so we can actually see this. I know back and forth. All right. So there is our logbook sticker, and you can. It doesn't come through very well in the logbook sticker, but you can see that pumpkin is actually very much gray. Um, the brown tones don't come through very well on the sticker, but that's something that there, when you actually did it, the pumpkin itself was gray, but there ended up being a lot of brown, a lot more brown than I was expecting. So it was kind of interesting to finish it and see all of that brown, um, come through. Uh, and I wasn't expecting all that brown when I finished it. So we're going to kind of come down so we can get a little bit of a closer look at this pumpkin um, and see what the bling kind of looked like. I prefer this camera, um, this lens, so she's gonna make a mess. So what ended up, well, I was surprised, that, and it was something that I didn't plan it that way. Uh, going back, if I were to do this again, I would plan out and add bling specifically to this pumpkin. When I was kidding everything up, the only part of this pumpkin that has bling is this light portion right here is an AB. I would try to add like this creamy color here, try to potentially make this creamy color or this creamy this light cream color here make one of these two probably this one here a pixie dust uh, maybe this one right here this cream as well a pixie dust but at least this light 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 one a pixie dust and I think the reason that I didn't was because I didn't really have these tones in pixie dust and I was doing this without purchasing anything extra. I was just going off of what I had in my hoard of special drills. So when you, we look at this, you can really truly see how much confetti there was in here. Like, look at this, there's so much confetti. And especially when you see how much confetti there is, that's like brown, shades of brown. It doesn't really come through from a distance because it just blends so well. But there are so many shades of brown and there's probably four shades of red in there. It, you can't tell from here, but there's four different shades of red in there. So it looks like, oh, it's just red. No, there's four different shades of red in this, like this little section, four different shades of red. Then there's like every shade of orange, every shade of red that's in here. Like literally this, that, that confetti background has the four, the five, the nine, the E, the F, the L, N, P, S, T, U, V, and then it has the arrow, this funky triangle, the right, great, the greater than sign, the plus, the minus, not too, a little bit of the slash, a little bit of the equal sign. It has the, um, this symbol, it has the pound sign, it has this um, weird symbol here, it has this one and it has the anchor. So that's all of the symbols that are in the confetti, of course, pl plus the 310. But all of that is part of the confetti sections. So that is how many colors? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, tw
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There's at least 25 colors that make up the confetti in, in like such tiny areas and tiny zones. It was, it was painful. It was so painful, but yes, yeah, so you can see there's that part. And then as we come down, you can really see here is our orange pumpkin. And if I kind of shine it like that, you can see there's a B and it doesn't come through really well, but most of that pumpkin is pixie dust or fairy dust. And you can see there, we've got the darkest red right here is a regular drill and then next to it is our uh, our 666 fairy dust or pixie dust and then our next pixie dust next pixie dust so you can see regular drill regular drill pixie dust and then the rest is pixie dust through to that regular drill regular drill pixie dust so a ton of specials in our orange pumpkin and then as we come down into our black uh, our grayish black pumpkin uh, i wasn't expecting this brown to be as dark uh, and then this is two separate shades, but they're very similar. Uh, hard to tell apart though. Um, so you can see there's one color and there's another color, but it's subtle. Uh, it looks really good from a viewing distance and I'm super happy that it is completed. I think the orange pumpkin is my favorite pumpkin out of all of them, but yes, anyways, that is Happy Jack's Glitter Moon and I'm super happy. I'm super happy to be done with Happy Jack, but I was super excited to work on it. I'm glad that I did it, but I definitely underestimated how much confetti was in this kit. So if you're somebody that's not a big fan of color blocking, yes, there is color blocking, but it's not nearly as much as you think it's going to be because the color blocking just kind of fills around the edges uh, and right through there. And then you have to like do a lot of confetti placing of the black all throughout these whole areas. So it's not nearly as much color blocking as you would expect. I think the section that had the most was this section right here. Everything else was uh, not nearly the amount of color blocking as a lot of other kits that I've done. Definitely a ton of confetti. But anyways, that's all I had for you guys on this one. Kind of wanted to show off the bling, what you could do with it and how it can look and uh, kind of some changes that you can make to it. Uh, like I said, my favorite pumpkin is the bling that I added to this orange pumpkin. I think he looks the best out of all of them. Uh, and that's all I have for you guys for today. I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.